And guys, hope you're doing great. Uh, so I wanted to show you how to preview geometry nodes data inside your material. So I have this setup here, uh, it's a rock generator. It looks like that. And uh, I want to just show you how you can preview the data using a shader and uh, yeah, in your preview here. So what you need to do is uh, use the store named attribute, which I already have here. And uh, I'm putting it at the end of the uh, tree. And uh, then I have a set material that I'm going to use to preview the uh, the data and uh, so I want to preview the edge angle position anything that you want uh, so we have this here I'll go to the geometry preview uh, so, so, uh, to the look dev here and uh, in the shader which is the rogue shader here uh, you can add make sure that uh, the store name attribute you name it whatever you want I've named mine preview uh, but uh, you can name it to what you want and uh, use that name you can even just copy it directly uh, into a new attribute node I just have it there and I can just paste it in there and um, I mean I mean the geometry that ge geometry preview because I want to preview the geometry data and now if I go use control shift and click this node I should be previewing that I'm doing I'm able to do that because I have geometry uh, I have the node wrangler add-on enabled so I can just control shift click on any node and I'll be able to preview it so let's go back to this uh, so now that we have this it's just a way to transfer data from geometry nodes to the shader editor or to the shader nodes. Uh, so uh, this creates an, att an attribute and I use this attribute node in the shader editor to access whatever is put here, is put is put in this uh, value. So I'm going to add, uh, let's say, uh, the position. We can see we have that data previewed. Uh, if I want to preview the normal, I can uh, just search for normal, get that. and if I get that there I should be able to see uh, the number of this uh, if I want to see the edge angle I can also use that as well you can look at how that looks uh, I can even use the sing sign angle and I guess you can also use this as an abiot occlusion mask uh, so maybe uh, let's say we have this here see it looks super flat but uh, if I use if I blend this to already looks good I can uh, just switch this around and uh, set this to multiply and then we have some rock now you can do the shader stuff you want to do here yes. like that so very, very powerful way to do things. Thank you.